Do you want to know where to find content for your videos on YouTube so that you can make videos without showing your own face or without filming yourself? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can find and use content legally to make your own YouTube videos. So if you're interested in that, keep watching and let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Yuri from Automation First. On this channel, we talk about YouTube automation and YouTube cash cow channels which pretty much means that you're gonna make money and grow your YouTube channel without being on camera, AKA without showing your own face. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss any future uploads. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and you can also join our free Facebook group by clicking on the first link in the description down below. With all of that being said guys, let's just jump into my PC where I'm gonna show you how you can do this. All right, so there are a couple of ways you can find content for your videos. So the main problem that most people have when doing this is that they're scared, they're afraid of copyright. So if you're not sure what copyright is, it's basically a law on YouTube and in the real world as well, where if you steal content from people, they can file a copyright claim and you're simply not allowed to do that. So you cannot just go to YouTube, download someone's video, and then use that yourself. For example, you're not allowed to download this video that you're watching right now, and then upload that on YouTube or wherever and use it for your own benefit. That's not allowed. So that's the main problem and issue that most people have, like where to find content. So right now, what I'm gonna do is break down a couple of ways that you can find content and use them in your YouTube videos. So the most easy one is using free stock images and free stock videos. So there are a couple of websites that you can use for this and I'm gonna show you the websites that I use for my own channels. So the main one I use is called Pixabay. So you can go to this website and you can already see stunning free images and royalty free stock. So what you can do on websites like this is type in any topic. Let's say that I have a video about the top 10 pools, whatever. You then type in pool or pools and then you click enter and this website is gonna show you all of the content that you can use for free. So all of these are images, so you're allowed to use all of these wherever, so also in your YouTube content. Now you can also filter this for videos, so if you click right here, you can go with videos right there, and they'll then show you all of these videos. And you can see that some of these are actually really good quality as well that you can easily use in your YouTube videos. For example, this one right there, this one looks really good. So if I just play this real quick, let me mute my audio. Let's see, there we go. And if I then play this, you'll see that this is a high quality clip and we can download this and we can use it for free in our own YouTube videos without getting into trouble because if we take a look at the right hand side here, you can see free for commercial use, no attribution required, meaning that you don't have to link to the owner of the video or to link to the video. You can just download this. So you can click free download right there. You can select the file size. You can click download. If you're not signed into an account, you probably have to do a captcha, right? So in this case, not most, most of the times you have to do that, but still you've then downloaded this file. If I then open this, you'll see that it is indeed high quality and I can now use this in my YouTube videos and you can do this with any topic. So let's say I wanna type in cars, I then click enter and then once again, I'll find all of these videos and then also images of course that I can use. So this is the most easy way to find content for your videos. But the main problem that with these is that sometimes you can just not find the type of like video that you need. So what you can then do is go to another website called Pexels. This one is pretty similar, but I, I found that they have some other footage as well. Sometimes, most of the times, they will have higher quality videos. So once again, I can type in pools if that's the topic of my video. And then once again, I can scroll down and I can find all of these images and then also videos. So if I click on videos, once again, I'll find all of these. I can then click on the one that I would like to use. So maybe it's this one. I then see if it's a good fit for the video and I can then click free download and I can then use that. Now, once again, with this, you don't have to um, like, 
yeah, right there, free to use, no attribution required. So this is pretty cool to find clips. Now what you can also do is simply go to Google and then use Google Images. So what you have to do on YouTube is make sure that the content you use is transformational, meaning that you cannot just simply download a video and then use the exact same video. But if you add a voiceover, if you add something to the video, then you're allowed to use it, which is called fair use. You can find that on in on the internet yourself. But basically what I recommend doing is simply type in pulls, for example, on Google. Then once you do that, you can go to images and then you can kind of use some of these. Make sure it's transformational, like I just said, and then you're allowed to use them. If you use some zoom in and zoom out effects, um, you probably won't get into any trouble. Don't quote me on that though, because I'm not sure if that's within the YouTube um, policies, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but what you can also do, what I like to do, is use GIFs in your video because most of the times these aren't copyrighted. So for example, if I need a funny pool clip or whatever, I can probably use this GIF right here. This one is really funny. Um, so yeah, what you can do is pretty much go to Google, maybe this one, because these aren't the right sizes. And you can just find GIFs, for example, because the, the likelihood of these getting copyright striked or you getting in trouble with these are almost slim to none, to be honest. Um, but yeah, these are the easiest ways and the most common ways that I use to find clips if I need any. Now, what I do with my channels most of the times is not like use that much content from the internet itself. So I'm not a cash cow owner. Um, if, you, if you still don't know what that means, it's pretty much making content on YouTube, right? Making videos without showing my own face. So I own a couple of channels where I don't show my own face. I've got a content team that's making the videos. So I've got someone doing script writing, voiceover, and then editing, right? Um, if you're new to all of this, by the way, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I'm teaching you guys all about this on this channel right here. So make sure you go ahead and do that. But what I was going to say is that most of the times on my channels, I don't really like create a whole video using content like this. Most of the times I create videos myself, meaning that I mean, I don't create them, I have my team create them. So that could be screen recording videos, that could be editing videos where they create something on Photoshop, they then use that in the video. So most of the times I don't really use um, these clips in an entire video. Sometimes I use them for B-roll, but you can still create entire videos with these two websites with Google Images, um, and there are probably a ton of websites like these as well. If you set, uh, simply type in um, free stock footage websites, for example, free stock footage, and then photos or videos, whatever, you can go to all, and you'll probably find so many videos. I mean, so many websites right there, um, videvo.net, and then vidEasy. So yeah, all of these will probably be the same kind of websites. Yes, they are. All right, so that's pretty cool. So that's where you can find clips, images, videos, vectors, illustrations, and way more for your YouTube videos. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Um, leave a like on the video so that we can reach more people. Join our free Facebook group by clicking on the link down below, and then I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Have a good day.